Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the organizers for inviting us. Today, I will talk about the digital era and controls and the case of Artemis Plus. Now, when it comes to the existing situation regarding controls, we can say the following. Now, uh, they have been uh, systemized using a risk analysis uh, technologies and with the use of new technologies. It is also true that they have been intensified and increased and they can reveal serious phenomena when it comes to non-conformity. During the last six months we had non-conformity uh, in feta production and in bioproducts, also in other dairy products and meat products which, of course, uh, are phenomena of uh, uh, products that try to uh, be marketed as Greek, but they are not. Then we have, uh, we had some problems with fines, but nowadays the commissions have convened, so we have a lot of big cases with fines. At the same time, uh, there are uh, the... Uh, The breeders have also affected since the price of the milk has been reduced and the uh, lamb and goat kids prices have been increased and which of course is in favor of the breeders. Feta uh, keeps increasing the exports. Now, what can we do in order to improve the institutional framework and the control system in Greece? Of course, we need institutional interventions, and of course, we need to rectify and tighten up the framework, the legal framework, and the improvement of the fine framework have been uh, implemented with more uh, fines, but we need to do more steps. For example, the uh, last framework does not mention that we, Algo Dimitra, are the institution responsible for controls. Of course, we need to safeguard on an institutional level the technological tools used in the controls and also to uh, be sure that there is an intraoperability, intra I apologize, and of course our national products which are not so many to be under the microscope and protected because without our products, our, uh, we will not have any differentiation at all. Now, when it comes to digitalization, a holistic digitalization of data is to be able to improve the traceability of the products. And of course, that will lead to have a uh, less uh, controls, then it, it will reduce the need for controls. We try to interconnect the existing Artemis system with new technologies and at the same time introduce new systems of registration in order to have a, a holistic digitalization of the transactions. In order to understand what Artemis is all about, it is a web application which allows us to manage information on a central level since we uh, collect and process data from various sectors. From example, we have data from the dairy companies, inputs and outputs, and the same goes with the meat companies, the laboratories of control, uh, of quality control also give us data. We have interoperability with the slaughterhouses, with, uh, which allows us to know who slaughtered what, who bought it and who sold it. And at the same time, we have interoperability with databases of other organizations, for example, with OPKP, with the Registry of Veterinary at the Ministry of Agricultural. All those data are collected and then this information uh, is used properly in the best possible way. Unfortunately, we also have problems. For example, the complex chain of milk is a very complex chain since we have to manage more than 50,000 producers, milk producers, 
we have to manage production companies, collection and distribution companies, which are dispersed in various geographical areas. And of course, they may have different interests and therefore we have phenomena of delinquency. And therefore, the uh, weak parts of the chain, which are the producers, have been manipulated. In a lot of cases, there are not enough data regarding the production chain. Uh, we have cost, time and mistakes due to the non-automated uh, processes. And of course, we cannot always uh, follow the traceability. We cannot always trace the products. According to the last legislation of 2019, for the first time, we have the involvement of the producers since for the first time they declared for the first time which are the quantities that they produce and where they sell it. And until now, this has we collected those data only from the companies. So the creation of the upgraded Artemis with the um, digitalization has used various technologies, such as Internet of Things, through sensors, FID, through GPS, through mobile data, and uh, various technologies in order to combine all those issues, to combine the electronic signature and to make the collection of information easier. We also use cloud and serverless technologies for immediate and online access to the results. We use SMS and email for the inf information for all the users in real time. And we also have the application of immu immutable apologize ledger, which means that cannot change. A ledger is a means that we keep records. It is a technology that allows us to um, register the information with a very safe way. So by summarizing, right now there is digitalization, but it is not uh, holistic because we have uh, sometimes registration uh, doing manually. Imagine that a milk producer is issuing the invoice later than we would like in order to uh, have information and data. And I can give you examples later. There is a delay in information and we also have uh, we cannot control the milk chain, therefore the problems created are the fact that uh, the procedures are not correct. We know that the losses are more than 10 million annually. We have problems with products coming from abroad and they try to be marketed as Greek. And we know that costs us two 100 million euros annually. So this integrated digitalization, the interconnection with existing systems is the next day for Artemis. And it will be the solution to a lot of problems, not to every problem, but to a lot of problems. We know that in the beginning from 2020, in collaboration with Algodimitra and a private company, and we have uh, depicted the problem and we try to plan the solution, and we have also digitalized the Greek distribution of milk, and we have also digitalized the imports of milk in Greece. There is a pilot system to 200 farms in Thessaly, and the producers have welcomed this system, and the system is doing rather well. Of course, this is good for all the stakeholders, all the interested parties, such as the milk producers and associations of producers, the milk industry, the uh, association of feta producers. Therefore, Artemis Plus, Artemis II, will be interconnected with the existing system through Simple, based on simple values and new technologies in order to allow us to digitalize the brick milk chain and also of the uh, imported milk at the first step. We want to register in the real time, not only the collection points, but also at the uh, delivery points using sensors. We will collect information regarding who, when, why, how and when uh, they have produced or uh, received um, 
quantities of milk. And then I will show you a graph. The digitalization of the imported milk could be done uh, with the same way. We will register the import. The uh, plant will uh, receive the milk, and then we will issue the certification, and then we will uh, the importer will receive the well, the milk. Here you can see the chain uh, of milk distribution regarding the Greek milk. Allow me one more minute, please. We have the drivers who can use RFIDs, and they go to the producers, to the farmers, uh, that they also have a sensor used by the milk producers, and then all those data, how many milk I have uh, received, where I am delivering this milk. We have data uh, that we received through GPS and through the blockchain ledger. They are transmitted to Dimitra, to our organization. Therefore, we can trace the Greek milk distribution from the producer to the uh, processing plants. So based on models and based on analysis, we have seen that the benefits are great uh, regarding uh, milk. The digitalization with issuing electronic invoices could help towards saving 11 million euros annually. And the restrictions of the fake Greek products could help by saving 130 million annually and therefore we will have uh, a lot of money that could be invested elsewhere or we will allow the producers to make more money thank you very much for your attention